Hello, I'm Tracy Christensen. Welcome to Community Connection. The mission of Children of Hope Academy in St. George is to help mentally challenged young adults achieve their full potential. They're accomplishing this by focusing on continuing education in basic core areas. I'm joined today by Diana Wade, director at Children of Hope Academy. She's here to tell us more about the good work they're doing. Hi, Diana. Hello, how are you today? Oh, really well, it's such oh. an honor to have you. Will you tell us about how Children of Hope began? Well, I had a dream for a lot of years because my own daughter has a challenge. She has Down syndrome. And because of her, I have dreamt her whole life of having a school like Children of Hope. And finally, in our life, there was time to do it. And we decided to open our school in 2010 because of some generous people who offered us a building. Wonderful. Yes, that was the beginning. And then the entire community came together to help us fix that building because it was yeah. in need of a lot of help. And it's been an ongoing community project since we began in 2010. Sounds wonderful. And, and like you said, you dreamt about it for a long time. Why did you feel that it was so important to have a school? Because um, we're really addressing, you know, the adults with challenges. And once they get out of school, if they didn't learn to read well, or they don't know how to do math very well, and in a lot of cases, they don't even speak well, mm -hmm. then where do they go? Where do they go? And so our idea was to offer a place for academic help and a school where they could have great friends and a place to use up some of the time that they often have in their life and don't know quite what to do with. And it just all fell into place. It oh, all worked. wonderful. And what are some of the results that you're seeing because of the academy? Well, we have 20 students. We only can do um, that many because of our limited space. If we had a great big building, we could do a lot more, but we have a very small um, area and we can do 10 students in the morning and each one has their own classroom. And we work with a volunteer one-on-one. -on -one. Yeah. So uh, what we're seeing is that every student has made progress. And they've improved. Like I have a student who started on maybe second grade math and is now doing fifth grade math. We like those wow. kind of results. Yes. How great. And I bet that it spills over into other areas of their life, right? Oh, it the things does. that they're learning. Well, what happens is like if you're not a good reader, for instance, your whole world changes yeah. when you become a very good reader. Absolutely. Yeah. You can go where you want to go. <laughs> and do the students love coming to school? They do. And that's the other exciting thing is that they love school. They all love school. Tell us how the community can help. I know they've helped already. Oh, they continue to amaze me. The community has kept us alive because we are not funded by any government or state agency. We're totally nonprofit on our own. And they just continuously help us. Wonderful. Tell us your website so our viewers can go look. It's just www.childrenofhopeacademy.com. Thank you so much for being here and telling us about Children of Hope oh, Academy. We're so glad. Thank you. Making life better for our mentally challenged neighbors and friends is the goal of Children of Hope Academy. To learn more about this organization and other groups providing services to our neighborhoods, please log on to our webpage at kbyu11.org. Thank you for watching. And please join us again on Community Connection.